What's going on there folks, Earthmaster here, jumping in on this uh, rainy afternoon here in California, getting some rain here on this Wednesday, January 6, 2021, to date, 1.12 p.m., got a uh, close to a 6.0 earthquake showing up on the Solomon Islands uh, seismograph viewer right there. USGS does not have that earthquake on the globe as of yet, as far as the latest uh, information goes on the Earthquake 3D globe. Reporting party is the EMSC website. We'll go ahead and check that out real quick. 5.9 showing up in the uh, Solomon Islands area. You can see that specifically right there on the map here. Go ahead and zoom in here. Uh, or actually click on this. Go down here then. 5.9 in the, uh, there we go. Take a little while to kick in there. Indonesia area is where this latest earthquake is happening. 183 kilometers below the surface. Uh, pretty good sized quake out there. Not a whole lot of movement <clears throat> over the last 24 hours or so. And then again, you can see uh, USGS does not have that earthquake here on the latest uh, map yet. It takes the USGS sometimes a little bit of, a little bit of time. Sometimes they're right smack dab on, on time, you know, even before the uh, EMSC models. But, you know, on occasion it does happen, so... Who knows, they're probably busy, right? Probably swamped. But anyway, that uh, 5.9 taking place over here around the Indonesia area. Prior to that, uh, a couple five pointers, upper fives down here along the Tonga, e, uh, Tonga region. And also over here west, or where that uh, 5.9 just struck. So some definite movement along the southern part, uh, southwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Up north around Japan, just a couple small four pointers and uh, actually really quiet up here along the uh, Alaska Lucian Islands area. There is no doubt earthquake activity occurring, but uh, it looks like it's below 2.5. Uh, so a bunch of microquakes popping off up there in Alaska. Some movement down here along the Baja California area, also Southern California along the San Jacinto Fault area. That's this uh, fault system right here, secondary to the uh, San Andreas Fault. Major stress reliever out there in the uh, uh, along the plate boundary, which is the San Andreas Fault that runs up here uh, along through California. Uh, 2.5 earthquake strike in there uh, around the uh, Riverside. Well, a ways away from Riverside, Moreno Valley, uh, Beaumont area, Loma Linda. Uh, I don't believe anybody would feel that. It's kind of deep down there, 18.4 kilometers. Also another smaller one. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's a 1.5 up here. 2.5 kind of situated down here at 18 kilometers. Both of these are pretty deep along this uh, area right here. No major swarming to report along the Salton Sea. The other uh, kind of a little bit larger earthquake down here in the Baja region, 3.4 at 8 kilometers. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, regardless of borders and lines and state lines, uh, this is all a kind of like a hot spot of pressure right now along this section of the uh, Pacific Plate. Inland, uh, some movement up here around the Yellowstone area. Yes, Yellowstone swarming a little bit. We can zoom in here and the USGS has reported it. They're pretty quick on this. Sometimes it takes them a couple days, but the USGS is showing the uh, little swarm that's taking place there in the park. Uh, we can take a look at the Yellowstone seismograph overview and you can see the swarming in question right around the middle section of the uh, Yellowstone National Park. There's a lot more than the uh, handful of quakes that the USGS was showing. Every single one of these spikes right here is a, is a registered earthquake. So, you know, just looking at this graph, there's probably potentially a good 30 uh, or 40 earthquakes within this region here. Uh, not large ones, all, pretty much all microquakes. Of course, the Norris Junction Station is the closest to the epicenter of the swarm, and those little microquakes are going to disappear the further you get away from that uh, epicenter. But they are still showing up. Some of the larger quakes are showing up there as we get away from the uh, epicenter on uh, many of the other stations there. So kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, you got the USGS showing that, but not all of them. Um, latest quake up here in this region of 1.4 near Vaughn. Uh, Avon or Avon, uh, Montana, and some movement down here. Kind of quiet here in Idaho at the moment, uh, but that could potentially pick up. Volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest looking pretty quiet as well. 
movement around the Nevada area still still popping off not a whole lot um, just kind of quieting down there compared to uh, a few days ago Oklahoma still seeing some fracking uh, earthquakes out there and some movement out here in the Tennessee area nothing major just uh, 1.9 and a 2.1 striking uh, let's see Hawaii zoom in here real quick not a whole lot of change out here when it comes to the uh, uh, movement and earthquake activity uh, Kilauea looking pretty quiet far as earthquake movement goes um, just a cluster of quakes down here close to the uh, kind of close to the uh, the shoreline down here of course this has been ongoing for quite some time these microquakes uh, no major movement to report aside from those little quakes that are taking place uh, there's the okay there we go USGS upgrading that earthquake there that the EMSC had as a 5.9 upgraded to a 6.1 pretty good sized quake we'll see if they uh, we'll see if they downgrade it let me check the EMSC here real quick again see if they've done anything as far as uh, upgrading downgrading nope 5.9 they're sticking with the 5.9 register on that indonesia earthquake usgs has it as a 6.1 um so definitely an uh, obvious sign of some pretty good movement down there 151 kilometers pretty deep i don't believe there's going to be any type of tsunami at all with that uh, not even not even a little uh, notice on it it has been reviewed by the folks there once again, 6.1 in the Indonesia area. Indonesia, I can spit that out. Yes, I can. Historical earthquake activity, no joke. This is a uh, one of the hot spots here on planet Earth of plate tectonics and earthquake volcanic activity, uh, no doubt. Uh, swarming up in the Pacific Northwest, far as tremor goes, relatively quiet yesterday. Um, we have not got the data coming in today. That comes in about 7 o'clock uh, p.m p.m. west coast time as far as yesterday's activity no trimmer there was only a small little handful uh, the prior day see that movement there along the Cascadia subduction zone down dip downstream in the slippage area just a little what about 10 10 trimmers 12 trimmers or so in the uh, Cascadia subduction zone other than that it's relatively quiet uh, if you go back a week or so so definitely no uh no slippage going on there. That could be good. That could be bad. Uh, what else we got, folks? Not a whole lot. Um, still just kind of hanging out. Uh, been reading some of the comments there on the uh, tornado video that I got here uh, a couple days ago in Northern California. Um, trying to write back, trying to comment if I can on the majority of the comments that I've seen there. And uh, definitely pre appreciate your guys' support uh, with that uh, video. It's been a, uh, it's been pretty fun. It's been uh, shared pretty much all over the place. There, it's just checking the uh, analytics of the of the video, and it's uh, it's definitely got a tremendous amount of shares out there, uh, pretty much around the world. So I do appreciate the folks sharing that video, and commenting and liking. Uh, gained oh man probably about 300 subscribers just off that video so I do appreciate the new folks coming in um, you know most of the time we do stick to earthquake volcanic activity solar weather um, but when there's storms going on I do get out there and I try to chase them and uh, if there's tornado potential I try to get out there as well and uh, you know see if we can't catch a little twirling water vapor a lot of times I go out in the mid uh, mid part of the country there, or southern plains, central plains, I should say, and chase the big thunderstorms out there. But uh, I tell you what, I've found more tornadoes here in California than I did out there. I just, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong out there, but, you know, wrong place at the wrong time. Here in California, it was just the right place at the right time with this tornado. But... Uh, Either way, I can't wait to get back out there in the uh, Oklahoma area and hopefully chase some uh, some tornadoes uh, in the springtime. There's a system coming up. Uh, well, it's just exiting our area right now here in California. Um, dropped us a little bit of rain. Some more moisture out there in the Pacific. Going to bring some uh, 
some further moisture into the west coast and then after that we got a pretty good dry spell um, but I appreciate any type of rain we're getting that's that's uh, that's for sure all right folks um, have a good day once again 6.1 sitting out there in the Indonesia area Let's see if the USGS yes they did still at a 6.1 and it looks like uh, yeah, I know that 3.4 was there prior to that 6.1 but maybe they uh, potentially updated that yes they did looks like it may be a little bit more shallower they're at eight kilometers anyway folks we'll chat you guys a little bit later um stay safe out there things are getting absolutely crazy in the world right have a good day